The reaction to Robeson's speaking out politically in Europe was to erupt in Peekskill, New York. He had scheduled on his return a fourth annual concert for the Civil Rights Congress in Peekskill. However, those who wanted his outspoken voice stilled threatened violence if Robeson sang. Protesters paraded. Despite the threats, on September 4th, 1949, Robeson came to sing. Spectators jeered on the sidelines at the people who came to listen. There's a group of young boys here yelling at the people stopped in their cars. There are hundreds and hundreds of people here, and if there's a serious outbreak, it will be very bad. Because the concert was ringed with a threat of violence, hundreds of concert goers volunteered and stood a circle of guard around the audience and around Robeson himself. When the concert was over, the police did little or nothing to avoid a confrontation. The concert goers were attacked as they left, and a riot developed. 140 people were injured. Spanishers are breaking out all over here. The police are fighting the cops. Oh, this is terrible. And they are beating up a Negro. They're clubbing him. Right here. After Peekskill, other cities became fearful. Concerts were canceled. Robeson records were withdrawn from stores. Robeson continued to speak out, and condemnation of the man and his beliefs continued. Unbelievably, even his selection years before as All-American end for Rutgers was wiped from the record. The 1917-1918 College Football Hall of Fame listed the only 10-man All-American team in history. The 11th man, Paul Robeson, was eliminated, erased from the record books. This is Pete Seeger. I was there too. There were 900 police, deputies, and state troopers at Peekskill. They allowed the mob to form along a four-mile line of road and directed all traffic down this only exit and then stood by watching while the hoodlums threw rocks through the windows of cars and buses. Heads were bashed in, eyes were cut by flying glass. Cars were overturned and the people in them dragged out and beaten. And the police stood by and laughed. Hoodlum gangs went on a night-long reign of terror all through Westchester County, clear down to 210th Street and Broadway. Then the police moved. They moved into the picnic grounds to beat up the trade union guards. 